Hello, this is Ronnie. Um, I don't know if I've ever made a video like this before, but I feel obligated to do so. I have given more than 100 television, newspaper, radio, and magazine interviews over the years, but I don't do this type of video posting ever. Uh, but I'm making an exception now, a few days before the election. I am not going to waste your time telling you what I think about Donald Trump, the draft dodging, the tax evasion, the marriages, the bankruptcies, the pathological lying. He's a scam artist. He's probably the most repulsive individual that I've ever seen in my life. And it is absolutely mind boggling to me that there are still 30 or 40 million people in the United States that are willing to vote for him. Um, I've been around the block a few times, anyone who knows me. Uh, knows that I've, you know, walked uh, more than uh, 10,000 miles across 80 countries and 40 states around the world. Uh, before the virus and this six-month lockdown that I've been on uh, last year, I actually walked more than 1,000 miles across 20 countries. Um, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Some questions just don't have any answers. Uh, I want to focus on a few talking points that Trump continues to repeat and has not been called out on by any of the talking heads on media. Unfortunately, we have an aversion towards numbers and math in this country, and he is taking advantage of that, as scam artists and pathological liars do. I want to talk for one minute about the stock market that he is constantly boasting about. The stock market is up 40% in his term. Under Obama, it was up 120%. Additionally, what you have to take into consideration is that he has printed $3 trillion, eliminated taxes, eliminated regulations, and eliminated interest rates. If you were incompetent, you would be able to move the stock market 40% in four years had you done the same. Another thing that nobody is pointing out is that the stock market is a market capitalization weighted index, which means a name like Amazon has a market valuation and a market weight 20 times what General Electric has. So General Electric can go to zero tomorrow, and it's near zero now, but it would not impact the major indices because it, has not, it does not carry a big weight there. Amazon, on the other hand, is a name that's doing really well. It has a heavy weight, and it does well in this type of environment. So between the stay-at-home mega-cap names that are supporting the stock market right now, the stimulus, the elimination of interest rates, regulations, and taxes has left the stock market at an overvalued level. Another thing you must understand is that the stock market is not the economy. In fact, 40% of the names in the S&P 500 right now are down by between 25 and 75%. As far as the unemployment rate goes, he is boasting about the fact that he created 10 million jobs in the last few months. He didn't create any jobs. What happened is 20 million people lost their jobs and half of them were rehired. And now that we have a second wave of the virus kicking in, that will lead to another 200,000 deaths. A lot of those people that were rehired will be laid off. He is boasting about the GDP number today, 33% gain, record number. What he is not saying is that it is a bounce off of an artificially low level. When the GDP goes from 25 trillion to 15 trillion, a 33% bounce off of 15 still leaves you 20% below where we were before the virus. And you have to understand that he continues to manipulate people that are uneducated, that are not paying attention, or they are pay paying attention to news channels like Fox, or they have no moral compass, and that is his base. Uh, 
please, if you have not yet voted, vote. You can wait online for four years, four, four, four hours on election day, or you can stay at home and pay the price by having to deal with this existential threat for another four years. Uh, the Republicans are bending over backwards trying to suppress the vote. They are um, unloading legal teams in each of the 50 states. And unless we have a blowout, you can expect that there will be a uh, nasty fight uh, next week. Uh, so again, if you haven't mailed in your vote yet, it's probably too late because of the state deadlines. So drop it in at a drop box or weather the storm and wait online uh, on election day. Uh, please share this with, ever who, with, with anyone you can on social media, especially if that person has a big following and can help something like this go viral. I have a lot more to say, many talking points, but unfortunately we live in a society where people don't have much of an attention span. And I don't want to repeat anything that others before me have already said. Make sure you vote and uh, thank you for watching this video.